burst into the den, a seasoned sideshow entertainer from Montreal who says his new series of books is stranger than fiction. Hello, everybody. My name is Giovanni Giuliani, and uh, my profession was a presenter of strange and unusual people. I'm here today to ask you for a $100,000 investment for 40% of my business that is publishing. But first of all, I'd like to give you an inkling of what this world was all about. The sideshow, the freaks. So here they are. Come on out here. Freaks? <laughs> That's what I said. Yes, the strange people, the weird ones. Oh, and this is the ring mistress that's coming out now. The queen of the whips. Chili's in. <laughs> <laughs> that's so true. Whoa, kind of wakes you up in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> I bet. <laughs> and now a strong man. None other than Leviticus. Whoa. Oh, my goodness. Oh. Leviticus will bend the steel bar like you've never seen before. Dentists everywhere. A little more. Hey. And along comes the surprise twist. Impressive. Oh, yeah. Yes. Aww. It's a heart. Yeah. And there you have it. Aww. Fantastic. Aww, thank you. For you. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. And at this moment, I'd like to present to you Isvan. Isvan is a sword swallower. Oh, I love that. Oh, Please don't oh, try this at home. No. Go to the neighbor's house. <laughs> no, I can't watch. Oh, oh, I just. Oh, my oh, God. Man. Oh. oh. <clears throat> no. And there you have it. Oh, he can even bend oh. over. Oh, oh my God. Oh, this man. Oh, that was outstanding. Wow. <laughs> Another day, another dagger. And at this moment, wow. I would like to hand over to you a little sampling of the books that I intend to publish. Giovanni has created a trilogy of photo books chronicling the stars of the traveling sideshow from the early 1900s. Thank you, sir. And here you go, sir. Thank you. Look at the height of that guy. Oh, my gosh. Eight feet, eight inches. So far, he's only printed proof copies. He needs the $100,000 to self-publish and distribute the books. And ladies and gentlemen, on the inside, what you're seeing is real, authentic people. It was part of life in those days to see those attractions at circuses, at carnivals, and now you have an opportunity to have an outstanding publication, which I think will be a success throughout the world. Yeah, what, what is your background? Were you involved in, in the I, circus? Yes, I started out as being an actor, and my first job I got was on a sideshow. The man who taught me was a fellow by the name of Joe Drake. He'd be 120 today if he was alive. And he learned the trade from someone who had worked on P.T. Barnum's show back in 1878 when he came to Toronto. I seen these when I was a kid. Yeah. They'd have banners out on them. You'd walk down through the little midway. They were treated as a freak. Uh, yes, it's I true. I mean, I saw guys, the madman in the cage and all this stuff that were, you they know... They were like... real freaks of nature, and that is... That they is don't, they don't call it. them freaks anymore. What is the word they use now? People? Well, they, me, yeah. well if you... They, yes, like in my case, for instance, I call my book The Archives of Human Prodigies. Prodigies, that's right. But do you worry about the fact that, in a way, it were, you're not making fun of people, but there's something about this that doesn't feel right to me? You're highlighting somebody who, in some instances, is disadvantaged in some way. Does that bother you at well, all? it's a historical thing. No, because, you see, the thing is, is this is part of uh, something that existed at a given time. So it's an historical document. It must still document. exist today. These, these, it still these exists not... today, but we don't exploit it in the same fashion. You know, it's well, like... that's what I'm worried Just about, from though. A, I gotta tell you, I find it incredibly offensive. This is 2013. This is not good literature in any sense of the way. It's not even respecting and honoring kind of the poor people that went through this when they did. Sorry, I just had that Slavery opinion. is offensive too, but it doesn't stop you from putting it in a book. Right, but you... Sometimes you document it. 
It's yes, a documentation. Document, documentation's different, but that's not what he's doing here. If you read this, well, he's let's continuing. just randomly pick a page and see how offensive it is. Okay, Here's here, let baby me read it Ruth to you. Pronto. Freaks are ugly beans having abnormal organic contours. All right, well, let's. Here's oh. another one. Here's baby Ruth Pontico. She died in December of 1941. That's very informative. Weighing 815 pounds. Wow, she was heavy. The fattest woman in medical history. Yippee yo kaye. Married to Joe Pontico, who weighed 130 pounds. Oh, I wonder. I mean, that's kind of. I, I want to read on. You know, the general population would not buy that book today. Those were the things that happened in the 30s and the 40s and the 50s. It ended there. I don't think it's going to sell to kids today. That's the reason I'm out. Listen, I'm not offended by it. I just don't, I, I don't think you're going to sell $100,000 worth of books. I'm out on a business deal. Good luck to you. Yeah. Luck won't pay the rent. Hey, <laughs> good. That's a good point. Giovanni, what is your marketing plan? So let's say that you well, get a partner. Well, my marketing plan is it's like a book tour, you know? You publish right. a book, you have to go on radio, on TV, you, you go to bookstores, you sign uh, autographs. Uh, exactly what you did, Chili. What's the difference? Uh, but there's a big difference. What's so, the difference? So when you look at, in Canada, selling 50 and 60,000 copies of a book is a Tough. major achievement. I know and that. It, I just want you to know how difficult that's going to be in today's environment when you're competing with so many books, but more importantly, the internet, especially with a niche subject. Oh my gosh, is it going to be tough? Like, you won't believe how expensive it is to tour and fly to all these places and do all these interviews. It's a lot of money. That's why I came to see you. I'm out. This, this subject matter, I mean, I am intrigued, i got to be honest with you, because I'm still trying to figure out what a 130-pound man is doing with an 815-pound woman. I have to read on. I mean, there you go. there's an opportunity here. There's no question. I love this stuff, and the whip cracking, and the blades, and the smoke. I love it all. You love whips, in general. But I love You're making money more than anything, and I don't see that opportunity here right now, Giovanni. I'm out. Well, anyway, I thank you very much for your kind attention. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Good luck. Come on, Thank boys. You. Nice meeting all of you. Bye. <laughs> it would have been an interesting way to live, huh? Be part of a traveling road show with a bunch of freaks. Bruce. Or pro is it prodigies? Prodigies. Prodigies. <laughs> Next up, a married couple from Vancouver Island who claim to have the solution to a rather delicate problem. Hello, dragons. My name is Chip Nary, and this is my lovely wife and partner, Alexa Greer. Uh, we are from a lovely little town called Ladysmith on Vancouver Island in British Columbia, and our company name is Happy Zach's Products. Happy Zach? Yes. Happy, Happy Zach. Zach's? Happy Zach. Zach, Z A B. Zach, Z A K. And we are asking for $50,000 in exchange for 50% of our company. We are a startup business and have developed a unique product with a green philosophy and an organic, healing, and humorous nature. It is targeted but not exclusively at an area that has been tucked away in the dark for far too long. So, we would like to present Happy, Happy Zach, Zach Scrotum, Scrotum Bliss. Bliss. Scrotum bliss. Oh, yes. Scrotum bliss. All right. You don't need to show us. You don't need to show us. <laughs> yes, he does. No, no, no. Just the shirt. If there's a oh, lotion the that gives scrotum bliss and I don't have to have anything to do with it, I'm in. <laughs> there you go. One scrotum at a time. Nice. So what exactly does this do for your scrotum? Well, it uh, rehydrates and rejuvenates. It has um, <laughs> antifungal Can and antibacterial. Antifungal? It helps with chafing. Can it we helps try it? With... Can we try it? Yes. Yes, we would like to bring it to you. But How are you going to try it? I would like to have Chip recite a poem, if that's sure. okay with All you. Sure, right, yeah. Perfect time for it. When the jewels get tucked away and hang in darkness and neglect, tis then scrunt scrotums yearn for peace, comfort, and respect. This is the dawning of the age of scrotum bliss. 
global gonads can be free through testicular tranquility. Happy Zach's scrotum bliss. There's your commercial right there. I mean, <laughs> we're on the shopping channel tonight. Call 1 800 <laughs> seen on TV with Arlene Dickinson. You have the best voice. Okay, we got to have yeah, a look at that. Yes, feel. can I bring you all yeah, the bring it over, bring it over. Happy Zach's Scrotum Bliss is an organic lotion designed to prevent jock itch and chafing. Scrotum Bliss. The bottles are handcrafted by Chip himself, and they each sell for around $30. Oh, got a nice odor to it. It's mm -hmm. very lovely lotion. It's just the best darn lotion. Fantastic. Guys, I don't do anything without trying it. Yay. <laughs> what are we doing? <laughs> Gotta try it. Gotta try it. You know what, guys? I'm yeah, not comfortable I'm even not, thinking about no, what he's I'm doing not, back yeah. there. Whatever you're doing back there, you're on your own. No, you know the good news is? Bruce won't need much of it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, he'll be able to use that for years and years and years. Oh, a little bit will go a long way, huh? At what point did you guys come up with the idea? Like, how long have you been thinking about this for? I was a bicyclist in Florida, and between swimming in the salt water and bicycling in the heat and humidity, I developed a little situation down there. Guys, this stuff really works. <laughs> Feels like a million bucks. Does Seriously. it? No more chafing? Yeah. Oh, fantastic. <laughs> oh, and gliding. it'll never like happen gliding again. Gliding out here. You're gliding. gliding. Yeah. There you Greaseless go. and stainless. <laughs> I tell you, I haven't felt this good in weeks. Oh, nope. it makes me happy in itself. Mm. Well, how big is the crotch rot market? Wow. There's a lot of scrotums out there, the Kevin. Are you selling this now? Yeah, well, we've, we've only, only been to one event down in Florida for Key West uh, Fantasy Fest. And? And we made $725 in an afternoon. You know the problem, Jim, if you remember with crotch rot, it starts small, but then it, it grows. <laughs> yeah, you know, right? I'll tell you, where we used to have it in the police forces, is when you wear britches all the time, riding a horse, mm -hmm. and you chafe in exactly. here, right? Those days are gone with Happy uh, Zach. Right. That's and, right. And bike Happy riders. Zach just Where were you 40 that. years ago for me? Well, we're here now for you. <laughs> Hold everything. I got to. All right, try it out. Let's go. All right. <laughs> <laughs> this is what we've been waiting for. Best applied right. with loving motion. Mm -hmm. Oh, well, hold on. Okay. Try your best. <laughs> that's asking a lot. <laughs> oh, my goodness. That's very, very, very soothing, Arlene. Mm -hmm. Feels great on sunburns, bug Faster, bites. Faster, closer to the top. I need danger dirty. pay. I feel mm. very dirty you right feel now. Dirty. I say. <laughs> you feel dirty. 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 <laughs> Guys, do you have any marketing experience, any business background at all? Not a lot. Okay, good um, honest answer. What we have is uh, we're more on the artistic end of things. Um, I have run a plumbing business for. Well, a you're back of in years. the plumbing business again. Yeah. Listen, I, I definitely don't think you guys are nuts. <clears throat> Get that? <laughs> but, uh, and I think you'll sell a few. I think you're very creative, very, very creative. I don't see it as an investable product where I'm gonna get my money back out of it. So I'm out. Thank All right, you. well, thank you. I agree. I, I think uh, that valuation took a lot of balls. I really do. And so, uh, <laughs> but I think you guys have a good shot. Good luck. I'm, I have a hard time with the idea of taking what's a hobby and you know, a, a very uh, amusing bottle of a happy scrotum and turning it into a national brand that owns some percentage share of the scrotum market, which we don't know how big that is. And I just, I just can't get my scrotum around it. I'm out. Mm. Okay. I love the bottle. I love the idea. I think you're gonna actually sell a lot of them and you'll do very, very well. As an investment, it's a one-off. So I'm out, I'm sorry. Thank you. Jim? I like it. I think we could do a deal here. Oh, boy. <laughs> you know, we got some connections in China. That's what we need. I'm thinking very seriously of this. Jim, you could carry this in Mr. Lube. <laughs> yeah. Oh. <laughs> you think about that? It would be a fantastic marketing thing to do at Mr. Lube's. It would be oh, very fun. So. Come on, happy Zach, happy Jimmy. Let's go. Total testicular tranquility. Transglobal. You know what? <laughs> Come on. Love it, but I can't do the deal. No. I'm out. Oh, I'm out. Thank you. Okay. Aww. Nice meeting you all. Thank you, anyway. Thank you. Okay. Thanks Take for care. your time. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, I don't know what I should do. Jim. Oh, boy. Call him back. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Call him oh, boy. back. Jim, not too late. Quick. They're almost through the door. Oh, God. Quick. Quick. Gone. Jim, I must say, I'm a little disappointed you so backed out on that one. What happened there in your head, Jim? I'm trying to think how we could get it to the hockey guys. That's what I was thinking of, more of the hockey guys. I thought we had Jim there. We almost got him. 
one. Oh. <laughs> yes. Sorry. Well, they were encouraging. They were all encouraging. So I think we'll have to take it to the next level. Next in the den, a Montreal man banking on a key investment for his million dollar idea. I have a solution for this problem. I protected myself. Hi, dragons. My name is Abderrahman El Mansouri. I came from Montreal. I'm here for $1 million for 99% of this genius idea. Wow. It's a big and huge idea. It's a new service essential service once you do it here it will be all over the world do you agree with me that big ideas are very important very essential to anyone but very easy very easy big ideas are very easy very easy very easy to understand are All you right, going to tell us this idea, or are you going to keep with the Better bad theater? Fold. Do you want to make money? Yes, sir. Yes. A lot of money? Yes, sir. Do you want to be involved as a team in this big project? With these project? guys? All of you. No, sir. <laughs> OK. <laughs> you will make a lot of money with this idea. I'm waiting. And you will have the honor to make history. When is Act 1 over, and when does Act 2 start with where you tell me how I make money? Just. Keep it secret, do it, and imagine. Okay. Act two. I protected myself. I protected myself. Double keys bank. I have access 24 hours to my spare keys in a safety box with a nip. Like this one. A nip? with a personal code. Right. What's a nip? Personal code. <laughs> I'll tell you what it is. You nip this deal in the bud. So, yes, I'm with it? you on that one. It's a, a personal code. Does so it, it stand for something, a nip? No, no. With a nip, it's, you have this box. Yes. But well, what does the N stand for? What does the I stand for? What does the P stand for? Is it identification something? It's a, 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 code, a code to open it. No, no. no, no. We the understand answer that, is, thank the goodness I'm a for? francophone. The answer is nip stands for pin in French. No. Yeah, it does. Nip is pen in French? Yeah. I yeah. Oh. If you were bilingual like I am, you'd know that. <laughs> Go to the Double Keys Bank, get your safety box. How are you going to get to the Double Keys Bank? You can only have your keys to get your car. No, the spare keys, your spare keys. It's a safety box. You lost your keys. Yes, yeah. I understand that, but how are you going to get your keys to get to get your keys? <sighs> Just go to the Double Keys Bank. And you get your spare keys. Where is the double oh, keys the bank? bank? Where is that? There is a central storage in the city. I understand well, how that, but how do the I the get keys, there? The I don't keys. have my keys. No, just by taxi, by any way. Oh, you by can... taxi? Yeah. Well, if I'm going to go all the way to buy taxi, can't I just get somebody to come and let me in my car or go home and get my spare keys? <laughs> Pay for gold subscription. We gold subscription. We make yeah. a delivery for you. Oh, I see. You can get a premium oh, level oh. where you deliver to us. But what does this service cost? $30 per, per year. $30 per year, because I'm not likely to use it very often. I feel often. a lot better That's now. That's good. But for, for the gold subscription, it's 99 99 Yeah, for gold, we, we deliver it to you. Right now, there is a small problem. Many of the new cars today are being built with a service where you can use your cell phone or call them, and they'll open the car for you. So that's becoming very popular. About 20% of the cars now have it, and every year more have it. It's part of what they do. And I, I think it's going to make this business obsolete in a couple of years. Elman, when we give you the million dollars, you're going to stick around and work this business, are you?
if you want, I stay with you, but me, because it's a big idea. I thought that it's a part of, 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 the, of the cake. That's what I thought. So you thought the idea was so unique Th that, you, that we just pay you a million bucks and then... No, no, the million you. stays in the company. No, no, he takes... No, oh, he wants the million? Yeah. You get to keep the one percent. You get the million? It's his idea for a million. Because normally here, the, the money stays in the company. Oh, he's selling it for a million dollars. Okay. Because right? you can do it. Yeah. You want to keep then one percent. Then what are you going to do? You're just one percent. So then, and, and the million is, dollars. Chili, this is what happens. I got to explain. I got to explain it to you. You're not listening. It's very important. Very yeah, huge. Yeah, it's it's, it's, it's historic. And we throw the keys away. Right? You lose. <laughs> I've got the million. Here's a million dollars, right? Okay. Okay. So you can go out through that door right there. See where she's driving it. Now we own the company. I got it. He's got the million bucks. I got it. <laughs> and he's I, gone. I got it. We're out. We've just spent a million bucks. He's gone. He's, he's out gone. the door. He's gone. <laughs> You know what, though? It's so ironic. He left his keys. Yeah. He yeah, left yeah. his keys. A million bucks, we'll get him back. No, he's not a customer. That's the funny part. We he's not car. a customer. We, we got, got his, his car. car. And they're right here. See? Oh, my God. So then you walk out the door. <laughs> All right, Jimmy, keep walking. You're fired. Keep walking. We got a million dollars, and then we're gone. You and I. <laughs> Very bad theater. Very bad theater. I think he was dead serious about all that, though. Oh, he was. It Either was that so or big. He's not coming back, I don't the think. The job creation factor. I think we could all leave right <laughs> no, now. Let's 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 go. 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 Yeah, I think we can all go now. Jimmy's gone. Oh. <laughs> He's not coming back. <laughs> that poor guy. Oh, that was brutal. That was brutal. That was a missed opportunity. Where's all my partners? I got a heck of a deal, million dollars. I don't get you guys. Get a good deal, we lose it. 